hi guys good morning um so this is the start of maybe several vlogs um but i just kind of wanted to document what the hell was going on with my health um and to keep this little clip short i feel like i've maybe discovered why i've had a relapse i'm not too sure yet but i'm going to email my um nephrologist however last night wait i'll probably put you down on my laptop because uh, my arm's gonna ache so however i came across an article last night because as you guys know and you can hear in my voice my behavior has been absolutely terrible it has been the worst it has ever been since i was about 10 years old um and i do live in the countryside so i live in a small rural town in shropshire there's full of fields and trees and all the good pollen that I'm allergic to. Um, so anyway, I read an article and I will link the article down below in the description box if anyone wants to read it. Um, but if you know me personally, you know I'm allergic to everything. Like I'm allergic to cats, donkeys really randomly, horses, pollen, dust, penicillin. Like I'm just allergic to a lot of things. Um, and I read on this article in a very big clumpy summary um, that basically when you have an allergic reaction your body produces something called IgE and I think it stands for immuno immunoglobulin or something like that I think I've really butchered that name um, however everyone produces this type of IgE um, whether you've got an autoimmune disease, chronic illness or whatnot. Like my mum will produce it, my sister will produce it, my boyfriend will produce it, blah, blah, blah. So if you have an allergic reaction, your bodies automatically um, send out these antibodies to kill off the allergies, essentially. However, this study was saying that because people like myself, I have a messed up immune system in the first place, apparently it was saying like, like I was producing too much IgE possibly. However, I don't know this for a fact. So what I'm gonna do is email my uh, nephrologist and basically ask him if there's anything on my blood test results to say anything about IgE. And if not, I would like to get an IgE blood test count done. I don't know if it does it in numbers. I don't know how it works, but I just wanna see the level of it. Because I think if it is extremely high, then it is more than likely that maybe my relapse has been caused by the allergic reaction from the pollen due to hay fever. So in saying that, uh, last week we had a heat wave in the UK. I mean, I don't know when I'm going to post this, so it could have been. So basically we had a heat wave mid-June. And at that point, the pollen was so bad. I couldn't, like, I got so down in myself because I actually couldn't function as a normal human being. Like... I was like this all day because my nose was just like dripping and it was horrible. Um, I couldn't speak to anyone because I essentially like lost my voice. And I feel like people thought I was being dramatic. Like I can be dramatic because I am in the performing arts industry. However, I feel like people were thinking your behavior is not that bad, honey. Like get over yourself. But it was bad. Like it was so bad and never been this bad in my entire life. And then it got to the point where I had to join a Facebook support group because I felt so down about my hay fever, which sounds ridiculous, but I needed it. And everyone on that group was saying that the pollen this year is the worst it's ever been. And I don't know why. I don't know what's the cause for that. Um, however, during the heat wave week, my uh, relapse symptoms had started to come back. So I noticed that I had a foam in my urine. My legs felt really tight. Um, However, those are the only two symptoms I found. Like, I wasn't tired. I'm still not tired. I'm waiting for that to hit me, um, if it does hit me. Um, but, yeah, like, and then I found a couple of days after that, so we then had a storm, and, like, it's currently raining now. My relapse symptoms just kind of died down a bit, and my urine wasn't as frothy and blah, blah, blah. However, the Monday that I handed in a urine sample, the day before that, it was sunny. So that's probably why, again, my pro proteinuria i can't pronounce that word maybe went up so this morning or this afternoon because it's quarter past 12 now um i think i'm going to do some more research into allergies and mcd uh mineral change disease because that's what i've got and just see if there's any more recent studies just because the one that i'm linking below is i think they did this in 2010 um and i mean the statistics are really small 
However, they are still significant. Um, but from now, because I think it is due to my hay fever, because honestly, I was fine. Like, we're in lockdown. I'm so chill. Like, I got no stress. Nothing's changed. Still eating the same. I don't know. But for now, I am going to, like, cut back on the amount of meat that I'm eating. I'm probably not going to eat meat for the next week or so. Um, just so that I can control the level of protein in my body that's being processed. My dad, bless him, has bought me this massive ass Vaseline. Um, to stick in my nostril so that no pollen or dust goes up my nose. Um, every time I go for a walk now, I'm definitely, definitely going to wear my mask. Um, however, if you're thinking, babes, you should be wearing a mask anyway, we go for a walk at like 11pm so no one is around. Um, and if they are, we just cross the street so we're not in contact with anyone. However, because it's hay fever season, I'm now just going to wear a mask so that nothing is like in contact with my face. Um, I normally hoover about two times a week. I'm gonna hoover every day. I ain't taking any risks. Like, I'm not getting an allergy ever again. Like, I just, oh my God. Um, so I'm gonna hoover more. I'm also gonna look into buying a air filter to see if that helps. I mean, if it doesn't, then I'll just carry on hoovering more. Um, and I also think, because me and my boyfriend are currently, um, so we already decided that we're gonna live together in London just because we both live in London anyway and it's just easier. Um, and also we wanna live together, so yeah. And... I think we're just now probably gonna find somewhere that doesn't have carpets. Um, I love carpets though, like I love the feeling un un under your feet, it's so nice. But because carpets are the major thing that like trap um, dust, it's just not good. And I'm gonna have to hoover like every single day for the rest of my life and I don't wanna do that. Um, so yeah, hopefully in the next clip I will uh, maybe update you on what's going on. However, today I did feel like my left leg, like my shin, it feels like I've got shin splints, but I just know that's probably like the start of like fluid buildup. I'm not sure. Um, it doesn't look swollen. When I press into my leg, nothing happens. Um, however, it feels a bit tight. Uh, if you know, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna maybe vlog this one section of this journey. It will probably be over multiple vlogs because let's be honest, you don't get into remission overnight. It takes a while. Um, so this might be a new little get into remission again series. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next clip whenever I feel either something's changed or I have some news. So yeah, see you in the next one. Hello, so I just woke up 10 minutes ago. So I just thought I'd vlog how I'm feeling this morning. Um, so in my last clip, I think I said that I strongly believe that I have a relapse because of my hay fever. Now in saying that, I believe that if it is my hay fever, then I actually think it might be able to go, go away by itself without having to add any like um, prednisone or anything. So in saying that, this morning I woke up and every time I think I'm getting like a relapse type situation or feeling like any symptoms, I will always check my urine with like the first wee that I have in the morning. And by check, I literally just mean look down at it and see if it's got any bubbles in it. Um, and this morning I actually checked. And also last night, I think it was about um, eight o'clock. Cause I finished the phone call with my friend and then I really needed a wee. So I had to go to the toilet and have a wee obviously, um, which is also a good sign because I'm not finding myself that I don't need a wee, which is, Sometimes the case, if I have a relapse, because obviously my kidney's not working properly, um, sometimes I just don't need a wee. I'm just going to grab some milk. Last night, it, my wee wasn't frothy, and it wasn't frothy this morning. And in saying that, I literally cleaned, and when I say clean, I mean cleaned, the whole flat yesterday. It took me like a good two hours. Um, I mean, that doesn't sound too long, but the flat's not like overly massive. Um, However, I cleaned the whole flat just to get rid of all like the dust and everything. Um, just because I know I'm allergic to pollen, but also I'm allergic to dust, which kind of sucks. Um, but I cleaned it all and I had a really good sleep actually. I just, I don't know, like last week I kept waking up because I kept having to blow my nose, which was so annoying. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever had that, but it is the worst thing ever. Um, but... After I cleaned the flat, 
a really good sleep. So for now, I'm just gonna keep monitoring my urine and how I feel over the next couple of days, because today is Saturday the 3rd, 4th? I don't know what day it is anymore. Mm, let me check. It's Saturday the 4th. Um, and I got told I had a relapse on, on, on two days ago, around two days ago, which was Saturday the 2nd. What the hell? Sat you can tell I've just woken up. Sat it can't be Saturday and then Saturday two days later. I meant I got told Thursday, which was the 1st of July, I think. That last 10 seconds was very painful to watch. Very, very painful to watch. And I saw every single cog in my brain just tick away. I'll tell you what though, yesterday, my left shin, it might have just been shin splints, but oh my God, it was in so much pain. I didn't know whether it was because like my leg was trying to swell up or something. Um, again, I might just be being dramatic because um, I am me. Um, but it has gone now. And I, I do believe maybe it was just shit, like shin splints because it did feel like shin splints kind of pain. Um, but it got so bad that I just had to like sit there and do nothing, which was a bit, which was a bit crap. But there we go. Apologies that I keep playing with my hair. It's because when it's straight, I just can't stop touching it because it's just so silky. Because normally, obviously, I wear my hair naturally wavy. I just stop touching your hair, Jazz. Today, my legs feel so much better. Like I feel absolutely fine. And I'm going to keep monitoring my urine. And again, by monitoring, I literally mean looking at it, seeing if it's got froth in it. Uh, and then Monday we shall see when I hand in a urine sample. However, I'll be very annoyed if the pollen is really high on Monday or Sunday night because that just means that, you know, it it might again show really high traces of protein even though I do genuinely believe it's because of my hay fever. I guess the only thing I can do is just stay inside till Monday, which is only another like one and a half days um stay inside just keep hoovering don't open any of the windows take my antihistamines yeah that's all i can do really i will check back in maybe again when i feel any different or tomorrow morning or even monday once i've handed in my urines or you never know might it just even be when hopefully my doctor tells me i actually don't have a relapse which would be nice wouldn't it hi guys hello hey um okay just gonna put it out there i am convinced that it was my hay fever that's given me a relapse um because we haven't had high pollen in about three days and conveniently for the last three days i've been up like feeling absolutely fine um i did some more research and i came across like another little little piece of information about this lady who also is literally like going through the same thing as me like had really bad hay fever allergies and had a relapse but only temporarily um i'll try and find the picture and insert it here uh so feel free to pause it and have a little read however i'm still gonna hand in a urine sample tomorrow as that was what was requested from my nephrologist and i guess we'll just see what the result is i've been like honestly went to the toilet last night went to the toilet this morning absolutely zero froth which i'm like oh okay obviously that's a good thing but i'm like <laughs> i don't know i'm just a bit like what the frick like pfft. i'm it's just very inconvenient having that bit of a scare and to be honest i believe that i now don't have a re i don't even know like i guess we won't actually find out until i get the results of this urine sample um so hopefully like everything has just kind of like fixed itself and i've been like staying positive about it because i always believe like if you have like a really like bad low mood that honestly like affects your health so much so i've just been trying to stay like positive and seeing like the positive side of things um but yeah i just <laughs> it's just laughable now you know like i didn't even know what's going on but anyways, going to keep this clip short and then I will get back to you when I get the results of my urine sample from tomorrow. Hello, I'm back. Um, first of all, please ignore this spot. I accidentally picked it in my sleep, which is absolutely gross. Um, great news. So my nephrologist rang me back today and my urine sample was absolutely clear of any sort of protein leak, which is... I tell you now, it's my hay fever. I tell you now straight off the bat is my hay fever and I knew it and like look at the weather outside it is absolutely miserable I'll show you now like it's absolutely miserable and there is no pollen at all like zero pollen so I guess this is kind of like a victory video I don't know like 
Like I feel absolutely fine now. For the last couple of days, I haven't had any froth in my urine at all, which has been amazing. Um, I feel like I'm kind of annoying my boyfriend a little bit because every time I go for a wee, I'm like, there's no froth, but bless him, he understands. Um, I, oh, I don't know, I'm just a bit like, that was just a little bit of a blip in the road. But I feel like this has happened before. Um, I went to Spain, I think 2017 or 2018. And because I've got photodermatitis, which is sensitivity to the sun and like UV rays, I had a little mini like relapse kind of thing then as well and I think it's because I had an allergy to the sun because obviously I was in Spain and it was just like hot all the time so I guess this has happened before but I didn't really put two and two together at first but now I realise it is probably my hay fever and also interestingly enough so my dad one of his best friends she used to work in a kidney department in a hospital in china um and she knows like all about like nephrotic syndrome and everything because obviously she specialized in kidneys um and he asked her and she actually said that yes it is actually quite common to have an allergic reaction to something that you are allergic to and it can get a little bit out of control and it can affect your um ns and i was like interesting so from now um i have to do another urine sample on monday today is tuesday so i have to do another one on next monday coming just in case this was a bit like uh hey got you there you've actually got a relapse but haha <laughs> no so let's hope it's not that um so i've got to do another urine sample on monday just to see if it's actually like completely gone but honestly, guys, I think that's why I wasn't really like having a mental breakdown about it because I kind of knew in the back of my mind it was my hay fever. But I think the main thing is like I've tried to stay as positive as I can throughout this whole experience because I just feel like being sad about it and dwelling about it just it's not going to help anyone, you know, um, it's not going to help your mood, it's not going to help your hormones, it's not going to help your kidneys at all. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'll the next time I update you guys is the results on my next urine sample so fingers crossed that that one is also clear because then it just means it was just a little blip in the road and all is good oh god i can't believe it. it's just laughable now i'm just like, oh my god i'm over it just uh editing this new little clip that you're just about to see and i realize i'm wearing the exact same outfit with just a different t-shirt underneath if that's not quarantine wardrobe i don't know what is Hello, it's me again. Can't remember the last time I vlogged. Um, and yes, I know this angle is uh, extremely flattering, obviously. I just thought I'd update you. So today is Monday the 13th of July and I've handed in my second urine sample this morning. So hopefully this will then determine whether um, I do actually have a relapse or not because the obviously the last urine sample I did was completely free of a protein leak. So this is just the decider of whether to be like, look, the protein leaks come back or look, everything's actually okay. It was just a bit of a blip. Hopefully it's that one. Um, however, the weekend just gone, the lockdown restrictions in Wales were eased off a bit. Um, I live in England, but my mum and her boyfriend live in Wales. So we went to go visit them for the weekend because I haven't seen my mum in a very long time. Um, and we went up to like Elam Valley and just had a little walk around the hills. It was really, really lovely. However, because Wales is so, so green, like so green, my hay fever started to uh play up a little bit so i got that massive tub of vaseline uh and i just stuck loads of vaseline up my nose and that actually really works um i think it just like traps the dust and the pollen like around the outside of your nose rather than you like inhaling it which is good and my mum got me this really cute mask um it's it was handmade and she got it from this lady at the post office um in wales where she lives and it's like got little bees on it and it's so cute um i'll have to try and insert a picture of it here but it's just the cutest thing ever. But anyway, I'm gonna ring my nephrologist tomorrow and tomorrow is Tuesday the 14th of July and just to see what's going on. I don't think that anything's happened. Um, however, this weekend just gone, I had a little bit of an upset tummy. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because it is really gross. Um, I don't think it's anything to do with the NS. We had a chip shop takeaway on Friday and you know me guys, I don't really eat takeaway that often. So I think my my bowels just didn't agree with it um so that was really fun for the whole weekend uh but yeah i'm gonna ring my nephrologist tomorrow see what's what and then update you guys hopefully it's just a blip um but honestly i'm very overwhelmed by the amount of support that i've got from everyone on my last video that was really really lovely and just thank you everyone for all your support for coming on this little tiny little blip of a journey with me um hopefully it doesn't happen again because at least i know now it probably is my hay fever 
um, and I can actually prevent it from happening again just because I can be aware of what's going on and with the season changes and everything. But yeah, other than my upset tummy this weekend, everything was actually fine. I did notice though, like when it's really hot weather, my hands kind of like swell up a little bit. However, my mum's boyfriend said that his hands also do that. So I don't know whether that's just like a non-NS person thing, like that's just normal and that's what happens. However, I did realise that my hands were like a little bit swollen and I was like, oh, not really much else to update you on. Uh, I'm still not on Lazartan, um because a lot of people said last time on my video, they were like, oh, maybe it's Laura Lazartan that gave you relapse. But I thought that at first, but then I did actually realise it was my hay fever. Um, so fingers crossed it is just the hay fever and not just the coming off Lazartan, because that means I'll have to go back on it. I will see what my nephrologist says tomorrow and I will ring them up and see what's what and finish off the vlog tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. Hello. Okay, this is the final segment of this vlog. Uh, it's taken a while and I already know that this video is going to be like a good half an hour long. It's a long one. I apologise firstly because it's actually now four days later since I last vlogged. I think I last vlogged on Monday and it's now Friday. There is a good reason for that. As I said in the last clip, I said that I was going to ring my nephrologist um, secretary on Tuesday to see what the results are. However, I did ring up, but I think either my nephrologist didn't have time to ring me back because I they are busy people like they are doctors they're so busy and they're specialists so even busier but anyway he didn't bring me back so i left it until thursday because thursday is my usual day to have like appointments anyway so i know that he'd definitely be in his office um so i rang up again and then he did actually finally get back to me and i actually it's a miracle i don't know how this has happened but i have no more protein leak which is amazing i guess um very very strange i don't know what's happened really i really do think it is my hay fever the pollen has gone down so much in the last three weeks since i started feeling and seeing symptoms of the minimal change disease coming back um and having another, another relapse and it's so weird because obviously when I posted my last video, it did actually show that I had high amounts of protein in my urine. So that was really alarming. Um, and it did indicate that I did actually have a relapse. However, I think because I wasn't really like down in the dumps or anything and I, I did stay positive and I still am positive now. Um, I think it was like my mood and the fact that the pollen had gone down and that I was actually taking care of my hay fever symptoms. And I was like religiously sticking vaseline up my nose um i think that's just made it go away somehow like i don't know how this has happened um i don't know if i already said but i actually went to spain um a couple of years ago but i actually have photodermatitis so i'm really like um sensitive to the sunlight and the sun rays and we did a lot of sunbathing and everything and i actually had a mini relapse on that holiday as well but then I was fine as soon as I came back to England to the cold weather and everything, which to me is just so bizarre. So I think what I'm going to take from this is I need to be really careful with my allergies. Um, like I said before, I'm allergic to a numerous amount of things, which is very annoying. However, now that I know that a relapse for me anyway, specifically can be caused by major allergies, I am going to be so much more careful in the future, even particularly with hay fever season, because that is a big one for me. Like, I am so allergic to pollen, it's unreal. Um, my boyfriend's actually given me some, um, like, dust filter thingies. Um, I'll insert a picture here if I remember. Um, and I'm actually going to Google what they actually are, because um, if I can find them and link them below, then I will link those as well. But so far, they've been helping to keep, like, the dust on the inside, like, sucked into that machine, which is really good. I don't know. It's just strange. I don't really know what's going on half the time inside my body. And I guess you never know until you've had a urine sample done and a blood test. I believe it wasn't that bad of a relapse, though, because nothing actually showed within my blood tests, um, which is strange. It literally just showed up in my urines. So overall, in summary, I had a relapse and it's now kind of fixed itself because of my allergies, I believe. If you do enjoy these kind of like vlog style videos, then please do let me know because I know that a lot of these videos, especially like particularly my last one, has gotten so many more views than my other more informative videos. Um, I feel like you guys just like coming around with me and just 
seeing how I feel on a daily basis and just being honest with you guys. Also as well, if you're not subscribed, do not forget to subscribe because I can also see like um, little analytical things on my YouTube studios and it's something like 70% of you guys who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you're one of those people, don't forget to subscribe. And again, like I said, we're all in this journey together. If you haven't already, go follow my Instagram. Um, it's underscore at Jasmine's Journey. Again, if you're not subscribed, please click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you are notified every time that I upload a video. Please and thank you. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive, stay safe. Mwah.